The Antiques Roadshow rolled into Richmond on Saturday. About 6,000 people brought heirlooms and collectibles to the Greater Richmond Convention Center for appraisal by the experts of the popular PBS television program, Antiques Roadshow, now in its 18th season. It's a Philco Predicta TV. That was our TV when I was growing up. I took it to college, had it in college, and then when I got my first TV, I just couldn't see throwing it away or anything. Bill from Richmond says, as a fan of the show, this is a bit of a thrill. I'm trying to find you the most recent kind of pricing I can find for you. Laura Woolley from the Collector's Lab in Los Angeles explained the age of the internet and eBay leveled the playing field for collectibles on the market. They're not terribly uncommon at auction. Um, like I said, they have come up. They've come anywhere between $150 and $450. you got to be kidding. No. And, and the value. And the reason is because it kind of falls into this category of stuff that they're antiquated technologies, but they're really cool looking, but they do also take up a lot of space in the house. Yeah. So it's a commitment. Yeah. After applying to the show, Richmonders got their tickets through a random drawing. They were met at the door by an army of Community Idea Station's volunteers and guided to the appropriate appraiser, a team of more than 70 experts from across the country. There's probably going to be around 5,000 people that will come through, and we'll see 10 to 12,000 items today. Of those items, about 90 will make the air. There are 70 of us on set, and so you know, if you divide out 10, 12,000 by the 70 appraisers, it's probably not evenly distributed that way. Uh, and various, we get pulled different directions. So today, I would imagine I'll see 100 to 150 items. Um, but you never know. Matthew Quinn with Quinn's Auction Galleries in Falls Church says it's a long day for appraisers getting settled on set at 7 a.m. as people are lining up at the door. I think every time we do one of these cities and we travel all summer, we look at things that both surprise us and items that we see every day. Uh, and that's really part of our job. Whether we're in, a, in somebody's home helping them find a treasure or we're here on the show, it's to see the things that we don't see all the time and to be able to identify those and recognize where there might be value that the person who owns it doesn't realize. Quinn says when appraisers find an item with significant value or a peculiar history, they pitch the story to the show's producers. I thought it might have some value and they all got very quiet and started staring at it a lot. So it was very interesting. Uh, then they of course asked me to go to the green room and powdered my nose and put makeup on and then I sat at the on, uh, on deck chair and then I was on TV and she said what I thought perhaps the violin was worth a very nice amount of money. I bought it for $180 in 1963 and now it's worth about five to seven thousand. And the bow my father gave me, because when you buy a violin you usually buy the bow separately, my father gave me his bow from when he was a child but she tells me the bow is worth $20,000. Pat from Henrico says her violin and her father's bow now belong to her granddaughter. We may get her a new bow, <laughs> but her, it is her violin to keep. She's learning to play now, but I think we will hold the, the bow until she gets a little better at it. This was the last stop in the Antiques Roadshow's 2013 summer tour. Its first visit to Richmond for the program in 15 years. And the segments filmed here will be on air sometime between January and May next year. John Ogle, WCBE News.